from around the globe, it's theCUBE. Covering HPE Discover Virtual Experience. Brought to you by HPE. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Stu Miniman, and this is theCUBE's coverage of HPE Discover 2020, the virtual experience. Happy to welcome back to the program. Just had him on at Vmon. Uh, the Cube's coverage there. David Harvey, he is the Vice President of Strategic Alliances at Veeam. David, uh, welcome to our coverage of HP Discover. Thank you, I appreciate the invitation and uh, great to see you again. All right, so you know, when I talk to you at Veeam on, of course, you talk about you know, lots of partners uh, and you, know, uh, you, you love all of them, but you know, now we get to hear the truth. You know, HPE, you know, <laughs> which, which, which one of your, your, your partners do you love the best? But uh, yeah, to talk to us a little bit about the HPE relationship. Sure, yeah, absolutely, and really great to be part of uh, Discover this year, and uh, I think it's a fantastic setup in the way that uh, uh, HPE is running this uh, running this event. So, um, yeah, as we've talked about with, with you guys before as well, you know, HPE's always been a really special relationship for us. It was, it was really the first um, relationship that we sort of established over eight years ago. Um, and so from, from our point of view, it's got a long, rich heritage. Um, that level of trust and desire for growth uh, has been fantastic. And in the recent years as well, um, as both of us have really continued to lean in, um, it's just continued to grow in a fantastic rate. Uh, I mean, you would have seen some of the recent results that, you know, Veeam's grown uh, over 20% in the second half of 2019 with IDC. And I'm really happy to say that the HPE Alliance is growing well in excess of that. And so we're really pleased on how things have continued to evolve. Well, can, congratulations on that growth. Yeah, you know, boy, eight years, you know, so much has changed. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, of course, you know, I, I think about, you know, HP and VMware uh, in, you know, one of, one of the earliest partners uh, yeah. for server virtualization, but, you know, HP has got a broad portfolio. Bring us through, you know, where Veeam sits, you know, you got solutions like GreenLake out there, of course, you know, traditional uh, virtualization. So give us a little bit of kind of the, the breadth and depth of uh, engineering work and partnership that you have. Yeah, great question, Stuart. I think the interesting part of this is when you look at sort of the ecosystem that's out there now and the evolution that HPE's gone through in embracing partners, um, the, the focus on the portfolio development and engagement between the two companies has reflected that. Um, there are so many different areas that we can work with HPE on, but when we sat down together and we said, where can we really provide the best value to our customers? We focused on a few key parts of the portfolio. Storage obviously is key. Um, three part, Primera, Nimble, Store Once, Apollo, areas where we've done really strong work over the years and continue to provide great solutions to the customers. Uh, really pleased with how we've increased into SimpliVity. That's a really big push area for us over the last 12 months. And we're starting to see some great success together with that, um, providing you know, a really unique solution to extend the, the value of SimpliVity into new use cases, complementing what they already have. And then obviously at Discover a couple of years ago, we did a big push with GreenLake. Um, and we're really pleased how that's moving forwards as well, because that's not really as much of a technology type of play, but that's a philosophy play about how we're satisfying the economic and service needs of the customers. So we're really pleased how that's been moving forwards. And that's another really big push for us for this year. Well, excellent. Maybe it would help to illustrate this. Do you have some customer examples, you know, understand sometimes if you can share, you know, who the sure. logo is, that's great. Otherwise, if it needs to be a little more anonymized, but that's that, that. No, I think that's a great question. And, and, and the reason why we like talking about these types of things is we do thousands of orders a year with, uh, with HP. It's a really rich partnership on a global basis. If I remember correctly, last count, we had over 100 countries where we've done deals together. So it's really nice to see that the appeal is on a global basis. Uh, a couple of easy ones that come to mind, certainly as White River Health Services, uh, big med medical system uh, solutions serving over a half a million customers that are out there. And those guys had a massive growth rate of data, 30% growth year over year, and really needed to make sure that that availability of data uh, was there so that they provided solid solutions to their customers. Uh, we partnered up with a solution with Store Once uh, and uh, provided them with a fantastic amount of savings per year on their overall solution but also gave them that business continuity that they were looking at. So I think that's a great example. If we move over to Europe though, is another good um, market for us where we're seeing really success, great success together. Uh, the Metropolitan Thames Valley is a very large housing authority. So a very different uh, vertical, but shows the wide applicability of the solution where they were having trouble um, looking at the 
ability to put a full disaster recovery plan into place and obviously contingencies is a key topic right now so we we worked with uh, with hpe and them and we really put in a great solution um that not only reduced the ability to recover from seven days to less than 30 minutes uh, but we also managed to uh, be more efficient with the amount of uh, rack utilization that was in place for them as well so economic support um, very critical business continuity support and obviously a unified solution that allowed them to be in a scenario where they knew that the IT partners they were working with were fully in unison so there was never any service uh, question if they needed any support so a couple of really good examples from around the world you know, uh, I wonder if we can touch a little bit on the competitive dynamics here. So, you know, eight years ago, uh, mm -hmm. HP had its own data protection. Uh, when HP, you know, split, uh, that, that sure. piece went over to Microfocus. So it kind of cleaned the swim lanes a little bit. Um, but HP is also has been increasing their, their partnership. So, you know, Veeam, you're a good partner, but there are other partners out there. So how do, how do you help differentiate and how do you make sure you've got clean engagements through, you know, HPE's channel and with their field? Yeah, that's a really good question, and, and, and there's a number of different facets to that, but I think that one of the things that will support what I'm about to touch on is that we're really proud that we just got awarded the Global Technology Partner Award uh, again this year. That's the second year running from HPE. Uh, last year was the first time a, a software and application partner was provided, and now two years in a row, uh, we've, we've demonstrated that the partnership is really valuable to HPE. And I think to your point, Stu, it, it comes down to a couple of different areas. Uh, the first is just the overall attitude, approach, and relationship. You know, partnerships work when you can turn your back on each other. They work on the assumption that um, you really have the same vested interest for success, and you can roll through some tough times as well as the good times with good dialogue, with focus on the objectives you're trying to achieve, but also more importantly, that you're excited and you enjoy working together. And so, you know, it's a pleasure to spend hours and hours together to come up with something that satisfies the customer pains that you're solving. Now, combined with that attitude, because to me, that attitude is a core foundation. Technology is hugely important, but if you can't have a business relationship, you can't actually execute that, uh, uh, that technology position. Now, we're fortunate enough as well that uh, you combine that attitude of partnershiping uh, together with the investments and in technology that we've done, and that's why we feel like we continue to differentiate. I think it's great that HPE has such a rich ecosystem. I think it's helpful to get focus on what is a huge topic uh, for customers. And, and frankly, the technology world is a complex ecosystem nowadays, um, but I think you stand out from the rest by focusing on being the, being the most successful, being the best, having the right attitude, making the right investments together to move forwards. And that's where we've demonstrated historically on our engineering commitment and our future roadmap commitment, which we're working on right now together heavily, combining with a big marketing and sales investment. So all of the facets of the organization come together in a nice seamless manner. So, you know, to us, I think it's great that they have the depth of ecosystem that's out there. We're just really proud that we continue to be the preferred partner in this space and that we keep getting recognized for the investment that we have with HPE as well. Excellent, yeah, you brought up, it is, it is such a complex uh, ecosystem out there. Uh, you know, one, one of the themes that we heard, you know, at your show as well as HPE Discover, uh, you know, we're talking about customers going through that digital information. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, you know, you, you gave us a, co a couple of customer examples, but maybe, you know, some big themes, what are you hearing? You know, how do uh, the, the joint go to markets, uh, you know, align between uh, Veeam and HPE? Yeah, great question, great question. And, and I think that this is another great example where when you to use the topic of data transformation, it's a really broad discussion. You know, what we've tried to do is focus on the areas that we uh, provide the most value to customers right now. And I think that focuses us down in data protection powered by intelligent storage, which is a really key topic for a lot of our joint customers that are out there. We really want to make sure we can extend your data management from on-premise to the cloud. That's a really key area we're working with the SimpliVity team on. And then finally, the consumption-based data management, working very closely with GreenLake. Uh, and the interlock of all of those different solutions uh, satisfy the plethora of needs that the customers have on storage and data availability. And I think that from that point of view, um, that's where keeping that focus on what is solving pains today is why we're having such great success together. So I think from, from that basis, um, we found that that helps the sales teams identify and satisfy 
the needs of the customer. It helps us get clarity on execution. Um, and more importantly, keeps us in a scenario where we've got really clear bars for success to make sure that this partnership is not just a, I'll call it a website partnership, but a real partnership that's driving key revenues, key thought leadership, and frankly, key solutions for the customers. Yeah, uh, you know, if you talk about, uh, you know, where your data lives and how Veeam can support across multiple environments, there's the technical pieces which Veeam has done a good mm -hmm. job on, and I think people understand pretty well. I wonder if you could talk a little bit of the, you know, the financial piece of things. How do you make sure, you know, especially with a deep partner like HPE, that you make it seamless as companies are trying to move more towards, you know, the SaaS and OpEx model, mm -hmm. um, and that it's not, you know, get, getting understanding full control of, you know, what my billing is and how mm -hmm. these things go together. Yeah, it's a really good point, and I think there's 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 sort of a couple of facets to that. You know, the first part is uh, on a global basis across all of the segments that we work together on, especially when you look at the success we have at the high end enterprise together and the high end commercial. You know you have to be in a situation where you can support the financial structure that they have as a business. Uh, and that's looking at it, whether or not it's a traditional CapEx supplement uh, related to more the traditional HPE solutions, um, or looking at the flexibility of the Veeam licensing combined with that so that they can have the choice that they desire. As well as moving down that path that if they decide they want to move through a more um, consumption-based type of position, by having that seamless integration with GreenLake as well, you get to a scenario where you can find the right solution for their needs, and then the economic structure is really a choice for them, uh, taking away a lot of that pain and position. Now, what we're seeing overall to that point, Stu, which I think is also interesting, is um, you know customers are going through evolution. If you go back a number of years, every conversation and topic was related to public cloud, and there's still a huge area of focus. But we're also seeing a lot of organizations, especially at the higher end, really start to look at how they can take the, a lot of the uh, consumption-based economics and bring it on premise because they want to make sure that um, the reaction position they've got for getting their data back is within their premise as well. And so that's why we're really enjoying a lot of success together because we can synergize the flexibility of the HPE offerings with the commercial offerings of, of uh, Veeam and be in a scenario uh, where it's almost a perfect fit for most customers. Um, and we try not to force them down a specific path because I think those, those days have gone, but customers want to look at the economic or the budget constraints they've got today and find the best fit, but they want that best fit without compromising on the overall support they get and they want the scenario like we have with HPE, where it's fully on their price books, single supplier, single throat to choke, making sure we're in unison and they've got continued investment moving forwards in the portfolio, so we're future proofing. Excellent, well, final question I have for you is, sure. you know, in the general marketplace, you know, people often get stuck in their heads how they think about a company. Mm -hmm. Veeam is such a close partner to HPE, you have, as you said, thousands of customers uh, with them, I wonder, you know, give our viewers a little bit of, you know, how should people be thinking about HPE in 2020? And then also give us, you know, the, the, the final takeaway uh, for Veeam and HPE. Yeah, great question. I mean, I've been working with HPE now in a multitude of, uh, of roles for ooh, over six years now. Um, and the evolution that we're seeing is fantastic. I think that my view on how you should see HPE is, a trusted advisor related to talking about the transformation you're going through with your data and also a clear solidified portfolio, especially in the storage realm related to the control of the data, following the data from the origination point of the application all the way through. And so I think from that point of view, there's clarity of portfolio, there's a comprehensive interlock of the portfolio. Uh, and so from that point of view, I think there's calmness in the discussion. Um, what I would say is that dovetails further and, and, and how to look at the HP and Veeam uh, relationship is that continued investment on future proofing and hopefully some exciting announcements as we move uh, through the year uh, will demonstrate that we are constantly making sure that we're differentiating at the front end, solving the pains for the customers. Uh, and you can see that in the growth of our enterprise business together. You can see that in the growth of our high-end commercial business together. And you can also see the fact that our customers are growing every single year together. So when we put these solutions in place, 
they're loving them and they're growing them year over year and very quickly as well. So we're seeing a very high percentage of our customers reorder within the first year because they're really enjoying the unification of the solution. And so hopefully, you know, the, the HP customers should look at that, feel confidence, feel calmness, and be really pleased that the market leader on growth within data protection, i.e. Veeam, and their primary thought leader when it comes to technology with HPE, together provide them a really powerful solution. And we're really pleased on the customer satisfaction results we're getting from this work. All right, well, David Harvey, thank you so much for the updates. Looking forward to some of those uh, you know, innovations that you talked about coming mm -hmm. later this year. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks so much, I really appreciate the time and enjoying Discover and I hope everybody's having a great event. All right, stay tuned for lots more of theCUBE's coverage, HPE Discover 2020, the virtual experience. I'm Stu Miniman, thanks as always for watching. Thank you.